Dreadnoughts. Oh, I love dreadnoughts. I really do love dreadnoughts. <laughs> I don't know why. I love dreadnoughts. It's like I love all guitars, mm. but a, it's nice, a big strummer. A nice piano on your lap. This thing is great. Mm. So much bottom end. That's a nice sounding guitar. I like this one though too. Those guitars are almost identical, except they, except for the backs and sides. Yeah, which so, leads us. <clears throat> Hmm. Somewhat seamlessly into our topic for today. What shall we do today, Dave? Today, <laughs> <laughs> Chris and Tim, we're having a conversation about uh, mahogany back and sides mm -hmm. and rosewood. Back mahogany and sides. versus rosewood. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest questions, of those popular questions mm -hmm. ever asked in acoustic guitar making. Why rosewood and or mahogany? Why not another kind of wood? Probably say because a certain guitar maker chose those. So if we go back, all the way back to say Torres, mm -hmm. who's, who's like the modern, say father mm -hmm. of modern guitar making. I think Torres had two spells in his life making guitars, 1830 something. Then lately he stopped, he was a carpenter, then he went back to 1860. I'm not quite sure what he was using. I guess, you know, things like, um, you know, there's a wood called Spanish cedar, which isn't cedar. It's a, more like a mahogany, but it's not. Probably availability. Something like rosewood, which has always been used for ornamental wood. Was, oh, really? Yeah, which has been around a long time. Uh, yeah. C.F. Martin, I guess, had, a, had access to mahogany and rosewood. That's why we have it. And obviously in the States, in North America, there's so much spruce. Sitka growing on the West Coast. And then you've got Adirondack growing through, through sort of the East and in the Canada. East and Central part of the States. So I guess that's why. I'm guessing... Somebody might tell me differently. Mm -hmm. I didn't realise it was chance like rather than choice. No, I didn't realise it. I always thought it would be a specific reason. but I don't think so. I think availability. Mm. I think by the time, I don't know, but, but I mean, he, you know, he's making guitars, obviously he knows they all sound different, the wood makes it sound different, and then getting into his bracing changes and going to the X and then scalloping, mm. you know, stuff like that. So they're learning about what, mm. what creates resonance and all that sort of stuff. It was very much a learning process back mm. then. The biggest difference for me is they're very different in molecular form. Rosewood is like steel, you know, it's, mm. it's so hard. You drop it and it's almost got a glass-like tone to it. Mm. And that's where, that's where the change is fundamentally from. They're, they're very different woods. So when people say mahogany is more woody, let, let's, leave the, let's leave like the frequency out for now. They'll uh. describe it as woodier, warmer. Mm -hmm. Well, it is. It's softer, you know, and right, it's okay. like, so yeah. it's, it's where rosewood, or if you go to like Brazilian or even ebony, you know, it's like, yeah. it is like steel. You get a solid piece of it. Well, Brazilian Chimes. rosewood's like no go, isn't it? It's on the no side. No go, it's yeah. Top of the side is, yeah. Yeah, it's completely restricted. Is that just because it's run out or is it? It's to save the forests, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, just... Not, not encouraging deforestation of that, of, in that area of that wood especially. Yeah. Is there a time when that might come back or is that just off the table? I mean, you there? can find it. How readily available it is, I have no idea because we, we don't use it. Mr. Yayu had some Brazilian from years and years he ago. He did. I, 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 an old, old mate of mine had quite an old Yayiri. Yeah. Um, I think it might have been from the 70s or the 80s or something and, uh, and that was mm. all, that was Brazilian. But he said he was like, I couldn't travel with it. it 
your guitars made from Brazilian rosewood are incredibly expensive mm. because it's so rare. But the response from Brazilian, the other, it's so hard. That's the difference between mahogany and rosewood. Is one you're dealing with a very, very hard wood in rosewood. Even Indian rosewood, you know, there's, there's something called uh, I don't know how technical we want to get. So all woods, all woods tested for different things, right? Elasticity, mm. crushing, strength. It's tested for you know like um, its resilience against rot and all that sort of stuff. And then there's one test is is for hardness called the Yanka. I don't know if it's Yanka or Janka, something like that. Might be in Professor Professor Yanka or something. <laughs> <laughs> but is, so this test, I believe, and I haven't read about this for a long time. So if I'm wrong, somebody correct me. You get a ball bearing, mm-hmm. you get a piece of wood, and you have a device that pushes that ball bearing through the wood. I think when it's 50% submerged in the wood, whichever mm. whatever amount of pressure it took to push that ball bearing in the wood. That's how they they measure hardness of, of of wood. If it took two and a half thousand pounds per foot to push the ball bearing in, that's what that's the, the hardness of the wood. So then, what's the term? Then is it like is that so? It would be it would, would be janka yeah. hardness is is two thousand five hundred pounds per foot, and that's what it took to get the ball ball bearing in. So so basically, mahogany and rosewood sound completely different. One's really tough and, one, and one's a lot... One's yeah. a, a lot harder than the other one. So when we're talking about, you know, tonally, it mm-hmm. all comes from that, right? I mean, what, one of them is just a different molecular form. It's harder. It's a much harder wood. So when people say mahogany is woodier, it is because it's, it's softer. And you get that more what people describe as warmth or woody. And, mm-hmm. and, and the, when you think about hardness, think about tone, right? Rosewood, you know what people say it's... It's more of a, a, a little sort of smile type of tonal uh, frequency where, where, yeah. where, where the middle is. is and, 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 and that makes sense if you know that that piece of wood is because the, the frequencies are more resonant in those kind of extremes. Where the wood being softer, it's, you know, it's absorbing more of the signal, more of the, the, mm. re, the, the response and the, and the frequency inside the instrument. And you get in that more middle where... where you know, mahogany is more like this, where there's lots of middle and less bass and, and, and treble response. Oh, yeah, nice balanced tone, I think. It is balanced, but like, so everybody will talk about why, or everybody will talk about what it is, but to me, it's down to the fact that it's molecular, mm. it's hardness. You know, it's, yeah. it's how hard the wood is. And then when you go to Brazilian, it's even harder. You go to ebony, it's even harder. Right. Okay. And then you come down to a softer wood, and, and it's just different. Same with tops, you know, like, mm. you, you know, you like cedar, right? I like a cedar top, yeah. You know, it's, it's softer than, than, mm. than spruce, you know, and it just reacts differently because of that. Where's you know, maple on there? <clears throat> Maple's pretty hard. It's not as hard as rosewood, I don't believe, okay. but it's in between. I think it's in between ma- mahogany and, and rosewood. Again, somebody might correct me with that. Mm. Then there's the whole thing about mahogany and what's real mahogany and what isn't real mahogany. Mm. And when you see the term genuine mahogany, what people are referring to is, is mahogany from the Americas. So these days, we all use mahogany from different... You, you'll have seen, we use the term African mahogany. Mm. Some people may say you can't, it can't be a mahogany unless it's from the Americas. I've seen people write that and I don't yeah. know what... So mahogany, as we call it mahogany, purely like humans said, that's called mahogany. Mm-hmm. Which is like um, Suetenia macrophylla, I think it's called, is, is, is the, the Latin name, I might be wrong, which is mainly from Central America, mm. in, in the northern part of South America, Honduran, Belize, all, that, all those mm-hmm. places, is what people call genuine mahogany. But that's just like the first trees that we call mahogany. What we use is kaya, which is a different species, it's a different genus, but it's very, very similar in, in its. Same molecular form. Okay. So, so where that, is this this mahogany from? Africa. Africa. This is this is African mahogany. So we yeah. we use African mahogany, which is kaya. Right. Then there's also sapelli. You'll have read. Yeah. You know, lots yeah. of people use sapelli. Yeah. Sapelli is probably you know if genuine mahogany is is the line, kaya is very very close. And these days it's been genuinely accepted as African mahogany. Then sapelli is. Next to Kaya, it's probably further away from that, you know, the genuine mahogany, if that's what we're going to call it. But it's all music wood. There's more, people call some, some Asian woods mahogany as well, but they're not. But in my memory, mahogany is kind of between a thousand and, and say fourteen hundred pounds feet on the Yanka scale, mm-hmm. where rosewood you're up in the two thousand, two and a half thousand, two thousand eight hundred. That's 
why they sound different. Yeah. You know, they, it's it's like one is like steel, the other one is more like wood mm. in our in our thinking. So where's Sicker on there? Yankee skill? Ooh, I don't know. It's soft, isn't it? It's, it's very soft. I mean, a spruce is a soft wood. Mm. So again, the cells are very different and how the, the how it goes down to how the tree grows. Mm-hmm. If we want to go all the way back and what the soil does and how much water it is and how much rain right, okay. and how much yeah. wind, you know, like trees grow differently if they're in a forest to they do if they're standing by themselves. And, you know, that's why often we get things like, you know, you can go into like bear claw or, or flaming and all mm. that sort of wood, you know, movement and all, uh, in the tree. So everything is back to how that tree grows. Mm. But in genus and species, hardwood is a different kind of, it, it grows differently to, to a softwood right. tree. I don't, I don't know what the hardness is of the spruce, but I guess it's a few hundred or something like that. Maybe yeah. this, maybe something to tell us. There's a great website called wood-database.com. It's free. It's a free site, and it's got everything you'll need to know about torn wood. Brilliant. In guitar playing, in history, it's the D18 versus the D28, and that's where it's come from. Yeah. And that's what Miss, Mr. Martin created. And I'm guessing it was because of availability, you know, wood for furniture, which was the high-end wood, Rosewood was a high-end wood for furniture. Construction, so spruce would have been used in construction. Mm-hmm. Mahogany would have been used in both, I would have imagine. I would, I would have thought it's availability. So in a nutshell, somebody going to buy these guitars, mm-hmm. one being the mahogany and one being the Rosewood, what would you say the big difference is it, is it is it in volume is it in zinginess that's a more mellow guitar and that's a more that's a big strummer or is it more subtle than that mahogany is pronounced middle frequencies they sound beautifully open and warm I, for me i don't know i, I picked this up i thought it sounded brilliant I'm, i i tend to gravitate towards mahogany guitars yeah i'm not a particular lead player i'm, I'm more like a finger style but Certainly something like uh, Rosewood can cut through because it's arguably stronger trebles. But it's like everything else, it's, it's personal preference. I think what we'll do is, rather than using these mics, we'll, we'll do another video of, of these two yeah. upstairs with the Brawner and the, uh, the other mic. Mm-hmm. So you can get a good feel of, of, of the sound between these two properly. We'll stick that on the end of the video. And then you've got this, mm. which is a mahogany top. And then you've got a hardwood top. So the difference is you've got a softwood in Sitka. So you get all that spread yeah. and that projection. Yeah. Right? Because naturally it's soft, right? Mm-hmm. So it's allowing that to happen. Where a hardwood top, which is mahogany, you get more focus. Right. So you get less spread. But it's like, you love it, right? Is it? I love to recall with them. The yeah, same, right? because it's right there. Mm-hmm. You know, and there's less overtones, there's less things you've got to deal with mm-hmm. for recording. Basically, we're sticking a back, using a back as a top. Rosewood is known for, for very clear and pronounced bass and a very sparkly treble. It's almost like a... You can hear the sparkle in it. That's zingy. <laughs> it's too easy. It's almost like a zzzz to the tone. It's funny because we're all sat with guitars where our personal preferences are also different. And that this is your personal preference. Yeah. My two Yairis are spruce and rosewood, which is my favourite. All mahogany is my least favourite. Yeah. That's your most favourite. And then I don't know what your second favourite is. So what I'm saying is that it is personal, absolute personal preference that everyone needs to try. And what you want, what you need from a guitar is probably different to what I need. However, my guitar at ho- home is rosewood and sitka. My, my, the one that I play every day. The Yairi. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my old one. Yeah. But well, I have the same one. But when I, I recall yeah. it, it sounds wonderful. It's, it's, it's a I, great combination. When I, when I play DYM60, HD. Yeah, that's it. It's like, mmm, that's got everything. Mm. So basically, if you want something which is woody sounding, warm, open, really articulate, mahogany. This is articulate too, but it's in a different way. It's a more scooped tone, lots of clear, really clear, great space response and sparkly, zingy trebles. Mm-hmm. Go for Roswood. Marvellous. Yeah. Thanks for listening, everybody. Great stuff. Thanks, guys. Goodbye. Bye-bye.